Hello. Okay, hello. I, I, hello? What? Alright, finally I got you back. Sorry, uh, a bit of glitch here and there. Videoing the Rolls Royce Ghost. So this is the second generation Rolls Royce Ghost. You have to roll your R's like that so that you are atas. So this was actually named after the silver ghost that was produced in 1906 and during development it was given the code RR04. So this is the second generation. It comes with 6.75 litre twin turbocharged which has 563 horsepower and uh, 850 newton meters of torque. Now the previous one is 6.5 so they have increased 0.25 liters, huh? It's a V12, so very fast, long, 850. Eh? The differences from the first generation to the second generation of the Ghost number one is that right now is an all-wheel drive, but it's rear bias and it's four-wheel steer. Basically, it means that when you do a U-turn, you don't have to three-point turn. You can U-turn because your turning radius is very tight. Yep. Alright, so this is the extended version, meaning that it's long wheelbase lah, huh? but it's called extended. If you see from the side here, meaning that the doors are actually 10 inches longer. And from the front, the grille here is actually in uh, this metal, and this is real metal, yeah. Hear that? Yep, it's metal, but then if it's the non-extended version or the non-extended variant, it is actually the color of the body, meaning that it will be this color. And this is called the Premier Silver. So guys, what do you think about this face? Took me a while, but I think I like it. In the first generation, you get a very high bonnet right here. It's like, ah, Ang Mo. Ang Mo got a very sharp nose, but then Asians, right? It is a bit compared, so maybe that's why I resonate with this one a little bit more. Lah, huh? It's super stylo now. It's like very classy. The lines, at certain points, you see different lines that jump out at you. And uh, I like that kind of subtleness that they have. I think this is the epitome of Rolls Royce, where they don't shout out to you that they're classy. They show you in subtlety. If that is a word. Okay, moving on. So at the front here, you can tell the headlights, the grille, and the front bumper right here. So the previous generation, the front bumper at the bottom here, it wasn't joined where I'm circling right here. That's a space there, but this is actually a joined one. And you can see the continuity in the headlights as well. In the headlights, you can see this little shape right here. I think it's very beautiful. You can see there are two in front and two vertical like that beautifully done. Apart from that, you might even ask, so does this have any sharing parts with the BMW? Of course lah, because the previous one had like 20% sharing parts with the 7 series, but this one is completely Rolls Royce. We got a bit, a bit, later actually, we got a bit more, we got a bit, like BMW got a bit. So the magnificent things they have done with the car, number one, if you notice this A pillar, see the notice ah, this B pillar, C pillar. Doesn't it look like it's one whole slab of aluminium? In actuality, what they did was that they have welded all the aluminium pieces together to make it look like it's a hole. That is actually very, very, very impressive and very difficult to do because I've never done it before, but as I understand, it's very difficult to do. What they have to do is that they have to heat it and cool it at the same time in order for it to have this um, effortless look that you see right here. You don't see any lines, no welding patterns, no nothing. Beautifully done. And this shoulder line right here, make it very prominent, very like... So yes, it's the type... Oh, this is the best type of guy. The guy that a little bit geeky, but you know handsome, but inside, oh, super buff. Oh, very nice, huh? Even the side mirror, so you see, there's a little bit of groove. Very, very nice. Obviously, there's a camera right there. You have your Rolls Royce wheels. These are 21 inches. And even this, if you notice, this always stays upright. So no matter how you turn, no matter where you turn, it will always be an upright Rolls Royce emblem. And uh, this goes for all four wheels, not just the front one. Besides that, they actually added 100 kgs in order to soundproof the entire car, including the tires. 
!wow! I've never heard of a car maker that would actually do that like let's add more weight so that it is more quiet and they actually went to a point where it was super quiet and people actually felt uneasy sitting in the Rolls Royce so yes the uniqueness that Rolls Royce has right is that they actually gather a lot of feedback from their customers and they listen to what their customers have to say before they go into the next production one. They don't just like, ah, I have this idea, let me try this idea and see whether people like it. No, they actually gain feedback from their current customers so that they can improve it for the customers. Nice and done. All right, so at the back, okay lah, I do see it. I do see how the back is lacking a bit. So the back, oh, even though you see the tail lights here, it's at an angle and it's slanting to the front, but it's it's a bit too small. I think the proportions are a bit different. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. I don't think it's proportionate to the entire size of the car. By the way, it's like a five, six meter car. Huge, okay? Not really a fan of the back, but I actually like this loping boot that they have here. Oh this, oh, this look like what I tell you. This one is like the guy very buff, right? Then here they have the muscle one. This, oh, wow. Looking at their dual exhaust tailpipes, this dual exhaust actually got another duo inside. So in actuality, there is quad exhaust, but they subtly put two exhausts. See, that's what I like about Rolls Royce. They don't like, wow, I got four exhausts. But actually, inside is like, eh. They actually shot, I got two exhausts only, but inside got four. Oh. Powered. Of course. Ah, so now you don't need me to get inside the boot already. Why? Because there's a golf cup inside to show you how big the boot is. But if I wanted to, I could. And uh, I could definitely fit inside there. But I, 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 I don't want lah, okay? I'm a bit shy. <laughs> okay? And this, oh, so soft material. Look at that. Look, look, look at all that. Look at me, just painting fireworks everywhere. Beautiful, okay? Okay, closing in. And can you hear anything in close? Hmm. All right guys, let's head on inside. These are the most amazing floor mats. These are lamb's wool floor mat. Oh my gosh. Feels so good getting inside. Okay, see, my hands are here. One is holding you guys, one is here, and uh, my door is there. Check it out. Magic. Oh, what? That's right. I don't have to reach my arm and stretch to close the door. No, 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 no. I press button and hold. Which is here. And it can do the same for this side as well. But open, open, open still same lah. Huh? Open still same. Okay, but then it's okay. Open very easy. Cause you all mm -hmm. want to go out already, my friend. So I'm just gonna close it. And it has suction cup doors. Alright, so we're on the inside. And I must say the inside is beautiful. Wow. Okay, so this tan interior with this navy blue leather. Beautiful. Beautiful. The build quality, the feel, the touch. So everything that you see inside here that looks chrome, metallic, whatever, it's metal. Metal! Why? Can you see? All this, the feel of it is all metal. Look at the resistance when I pull it down. Oof! Can you see? This is how I open and close my AC vents. I'm gonna try and start the car. Alright guys, so I got the key for you and I'm gonna start it and uh, I don't think I've ever started a Rolls Royce before myself so I don't even know how to start the car where ah oh okay start stop on the right okay on the right start. so quiet oh you see you, you see all the animation happening so the car started and uh, first thing first on icon so this is how I on the icon here and this is for my leg temperature for my leg oh this is hot ah do i does this mean that it's cold <laughs> oh very good i even go off the close the aircon vent so yes check this out this is all open pore which means you can actually feel you can actually touch 
the impurities, what they call it, to me is just perfection. Yes, beautiful. And all this is hand stitched. They are all their leather, hand stitched, handmade. Everything is just beautifully done. And the starlight headliner. So if you see it for a while, there's like shooting stars. Yep, you just saw one. Beautiful. Did you know in their headliner, what they actually did is that they have speakers in the headliner and they have subwoofers in the seals. So, the sound system must be damn good. I just have to try it, okay? <sighs> okay, now how do I use this? Oh, so there's a rotary here, which is a right, a left, up, and down, as you can see. Okay lah. And the infotainment system got a bit, a bit of VMW, okay, a bit, but with Rolls Royce, punya, you know, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have media radio, we have FM, FM, yes, yes. Okay, mix, priority and mix. So, how do I, where's my volume button? My volume button. So, I can actually. Feel it through my whole body. I mean, I have to write headliner pun under, seals pun under. Oh my gosh. Best, best, best sound system ever. Wow, amazing, amazing. I'm just looking at the build quality, just looking at everything. I think um, how they combine everything is also very beautiful. Because you see there's like this black here and then this tan here and the top is also navy blue. So, very beautifully done, I must say. Lock, unlock, Ooh, even all this, it feels so good. These are all your buttons for your radio. Oh, and it's touch. See that? It is touch. Very nice. So, this is what? Oh, I don't want to heat up. Oh. Oh, yes. Ventilation, my seat ventilation. Wow, I, I even can warm my steering wheel. This is very good when you're driving top down. Drop the top in winter countries. And uh, yeah, two cup holders. What do we have here? Uh, here is a... Ooh, even this, even the cigarette lighter has lights in them. Very, very nice. Open this. Check it out. What is this? Can I open up? I can. Oh, I guess that's the power socket. Oh, very nice, ah. Uh. The power socket, they don't put a solid, opaque piece. It's like transparent-ish, kind of. Glossy effect. And all of their ports are USB Type-C. As you can see here, there's one here. Nothing in the front. And at the side here, if you notice, this is actually one whole piece of leather right here with a Spirit of Ecstasy logo here. You notice that there is barely any stitching because it's one whole piece of leather right here. Your memory seats here and all this, everything you see here, metal, okay? And they're even so smart, see this? When you open, and if you want to pull the seats in yourself, you pull it like this. They even have this option for you, okay? I'm gonna go out, Ooh. and then head to the back. Even this, I wonder what this is. Okay. Suction cup doors. Uh, yeah, so this vanity mirror is right here. This is the biggest vanity mirror I've ever seen. Check this out. So I open, press once time. Ta da! My infotainment system, and to turn it off. Oh, and to close it, press here. This is to close the infotainment system and the picnic table. That's what they call the picnic table. It comes with options. I'm pretty sure you've seen some videos where this is where there you have a refrigerator with the champagne inside. Even for the refrigerator, there's chill and hyper chill. So you want it fast, fast, cold, cold. This is something I super love as well. So you open, it seems like it's an eject button. Like you don't like the person, you press eject, but no. This is actually just to help you assist with your infotainment system here. So you have right, and then you have left. Right, and then you have left. So you can choose, oh my god! So when I press that, both of it open. Oh! Can I back? Oh! So see, when I press right here, check it. Wait. Oh yes! Oh, look at that, okay. Can I... I don't know lah, I'm not gonna try because I'm quite rushing for time. 
I'm just gonna close both of it. Oh. Let me close the door right here. And uh, the seats behind here, you can actually hui, recline it. Adjust. Which one nice? Yes, yes. Check it out. And that's how quiet it is. Alright, for the back, what we can do is you open it like this once. So it opens a little bit, and then you pull it. And then when you let it go, it will stop. Now the whole purpose of this is so that you are able to control the door and you see oncoming traffic. So when you see oncoming traffic, you can choose to stop the opening of the door. So that is actually a safety feature. Very, very smart. Close it. Closing it back. That's right. I think I'm done with the Rolls Royce Ghost. Let me know what you think, guys. Fun fact. Did you know that... The reason, one of the reasons la, the umbrella is here is actually not because of rain It's because sometimes we have people like girls who like to wear short skirt Obviously I'm not that type but sometimes I like to wear skirt also That come out, you don't want kang kang ma You know me, I'm very rough, I wear short skirt some more like kang kang then how? Ah, that's where the umbrella comes in So take out the umbrella, open it and then you block, you block paparazzi Rolls Royce, they thought about it all